if you have the Samsung Galaxy A55 or even the A35 or you are planning to buy it, you need to watch this video for the first 10 things to do to elevate your experience with this phone, familiarize yourself with its capabilities and learn how to harness its full potentials by doing and turning on some of the settings I will share in this video. Spoiler alert, you don't want to miss the last point. So let's get right into it. <laughs> One of the reasons why I made the A55 my daily driver is because I can use an eSIM on the device. My main SIM card is an eSIM, making it somewhat challenging for me to just switch to any device, especially when it lacks the eSIM feature. To start using the eSIM feature, you need to swap your physical SIM to an embedded SIM with your network service provider to obtain a QR code or an activation code. Once you have that sorted out, go to your phone settings, select connections, then SIM manager. After that, select add eSIM and choose scan QR code. Depending on what your network provider gives you, you can choose to scan a QR code or select enter activation code to impute your activation code. I am not entirely sure, but I think you can download up to 20 eSIM profiles here because that's how it works on the Samsung S24. If you go to your Samsung A55 settings, display, then screen timeout, you would want to flip the toggle to keep the screen on while viewing. If this is not on, your phone screen will always go off even when you are watching a video or skit on social media and you would have to unlock the phone each time you want to continue watching. So to prevent this behavior from frustrating you just like it frustrated me, use this setting to allow the phone to detect when your eyes are on the screen using your camera. If you own a Samsung phone such as the A55, you may already know about the quick share feature. This feature allows you to seamlessly send files from one device to another, similar to Apple's AirDrop feature. Recently, Google adopted quick share to replace their proprietary nearby share, making it easier to share files between Android phones and a Windows PC using Microsoft Phone Link app. However, sharing files to and from an Android phone to a Mac computer can be challenging. But fortunately, there is a solution. To share files wirelessly and effortlessly from your Samsung A55 to your MacBook, simply open the website snapdrop.net on both devices. Both devices will be immediately identified and linked using an alias as long as they are both on the same network or connected via a hotspot. You can then select the alias of the device you want to send the file to, select the file and send it. Although this method is not specific to the Samsung A55, I thought it is helpful to know. If you are looking for a way to keep your private pictures videos, charts, and files safe and secure, the Samsung A55 has a great feature called Secure Folder. To get started, go to your phone settings, then select security and privacy. From there, select more security settings and then secure folder at the top. Follow the prompts to grant the necessary permissions to create the secure space. Once the process is complete, you will find the secure folder as the last item on your app screen. Open it up and set a pin or password. From there, any pictures you take with the camera app here will be completely isolated from the rest of your phone and the same goes for your contacts and any other apps you want to add. Just click on the plus icon at the top of the screen to add any app or download new ones from the Play Store with a different Google account. Auto restarting your Samsung Galaxy A55 can be a very helpful way to ensure your device stays optimized and running smoothly. Setting up an automatic restart schedule can help clear temporary files, refresh system processes and improve overall device performance. Here's how to enable auto restart on your Galaxy A55. Within your phone settings, scroll down and select device care. This section houses various tools and features to optimize your device's performance and battery life. Inside the device care menu, tap on auto optimization then select auto restart to access the auto restart settings. Toggle the restart on schedule switch to enable the auto restart feature. Choose a convenient time when you are unlikely to be using your phone, say 3 am in the morning or during the early hours of the morning when you are likely asleep. Select the days of the week on which you want the automatic restart to take place. You can choose specific days or opt for a daily restart for consistent maintenance. And there you have it, your Samsung A55 is now in auto maintenance mode, helping to keep your device running smoothly and efficiently. If you are finding this video informative and enjoyable, why not take a moment to subscribe to the channel, it really means a lot to me and by doing so, you will be notified about similar awesome videos in the future when I post them. Phones these days offer a range of convenient features to keep you informed, including pop-up notifications, but sometimes they are just bland and uninspiring. But not with the A55. The Samsung A55 has a feature called Edge Lighting that adds a visually stunning touch to incoming pop-up notifications. Here's how to start using this feature. In your A55 settings app, scroll down and tap on notifications to access the notification settings menu. Locate the notification pop-up style and select it. The brief option should be selected by default. 
If not, you want to select that option to use edge lighting. Now, select edge lighting and choose one of the beautiful presets available. I personally like the echo preset. You can switch to the next tab to customize the color of the edge lighting, but I prefer to leave it at auto so it can adopt the color of the app sending the notification. You can also adjust the transparency and duration of the edge lights in the next advanced tab. Customizing the wallpaper and lock screen of your Samsung Galaxy A55 is an excellent way to personalize your device and make it unique to you and only you. Fortunately, the A55 offers some unique lock screen customization options that can effectively enhance the overall look and feel of your phone. To access the customization page, simply press and hold the lock screen. From there, click on wallpaper to choose a custom wallpaper. Two buttons will now appear at the bottom of the screen, Effects and Frames. Click on Effects to swipe through different renditions of your chosen image. You can also choose from a variety of frames and expand your picture so that it overlaps the frame. Additionally, you can change the background to a matching color and change the style and font of the clock. This customization process is similar to what is available on the iPhone, although there is no apparent way to get the image to interact with the clock. You can also customize other areas of your Galaxy A55 such as the call screen and alarm screen to use your favorite picture or video as their backgrounds. Something else that you should do is activate the lift to wake feature on your Samsung A55. This feature eliminates the need to manually press the power button to activate the screen and wakes up the screen once it detects that you've raised your phone, providing a more seamless and intuitive interaction with the device. Here's how to activate it. Open your settings app and scroll down to select advanced features. Select motion and gestures and ensure that lift to wake is active. From what we already know, the A55 is a premium looking Samsung mid-ranger. It boasts a classy glossy glass back and a super smooth AMOLED display protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, which is a very tough variant of the Gorilla Glass. It also has an aluminum boxy feel and a slightly raised and rounded island for the buttons, making for an overall flagship look, except of course the noticeable bezels, but I don't think that is a deal breaker and I just feel it's a way for them to differentiate this category from their flagship S series. The build of this phone makes it a very slippery phone, it is so slippery that it even slips out of my pocket. This tip is to buy a protective case to improve friction if you don't want to lose your phone or have it damaged because it slips from your hands or lap. I left links to some of my favorite cases from Amazon, Aliexpress and Jumia in the description of this video. Also, if you want to buy this phone, you can pick it up on Jumia or any store in Nigeria for about 589,000 Naira or less, which is about $400 or $450 thanks to the improving exchange rates. Now, this next tip is my favorite in this video and congratulations for making it this far. One of the things I recommend you do immediately is switch the traditional Google Voice Assistant to a more capable and helpful Google Gemini AI. With Gemini AI, you are able to do all the things AI can do, like have it brainstorm ideas for team bonding activities for a work retreat or ask you to write a quick snippet. But you are also able to do the normal Google Assistant stuff like turning on the flashlight or setting an alarm. To make the switch, you should see a prompt asking you to use Gemini when trying to use Google Assistant. But if you don't see that prompt, then you have to do it manually. Make sure you have the Google Gemini app installed on your phone. You can get it on the Google Play Store, although it is not available for everyone, even in countries that Google say it is available, like Nigeria. After installing the Gemini app, go to the Google app, click your profile picture, go to settings and select Google Assistant, scroll down and select Digital Assistant from Google, and make sure Gemini is selected. Once this is done, you now have a very, very intelligent, powerful, and robust virtual assistant using the power of Gemini that can also do stuff that the Google Assistant can do. These are some of the first things you should do when you get your Samsung A55. By incorporating these settings and tricks into your usage of the Samsung Galaxy A55, you can enhance your overall experience and unlock the device's full potential. If you have any other settings or features that you think are worth sharing and I missed in this video, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. It truly means a lot to me. You can also watch this video or this video right here about the cheaper Samsung A35. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.